I'm Madonna, this is Kit Kat, and this is Happening Meow. We're giving you a bi-weekly update on the biggest stories in cat news. You may be wondering why I decided to do a slow pan of this random assortment of items, but if you're a cat owner, you know that your cat ends up playing with stuff like this as opposed to something specifically designed for their use. Today I'm making some DIY cat toys for Kit Kat for Christmas because it's around the corner. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to be telling you guys about this week's top cat stories. Before I do that, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my friend Ming who is letting me borrow his camera and to Patrick who is very adamant about me letting him know what is happening meow. We're starting off heavy again this week with a woman who threw her cat out of a balcony. A woman posted a video on social media of herself throwing a cat out of a third-story window in Newark and onto the sidewalk below. Apparently, the cat kept annoying her by coming in and out of the room at her relative's house. But she was caught quick as a cat and charged with animal cruelty. The cat survived with minor paw injuries and likely won't be returned to its owners in Newark. If your cat's annoying you, why not follow the lead of this next owner who sassed his cat right back? A man from Georgia was fed up with his cat, Italics, meowing in the middle of the night. So he decided to give him a taste of his own cat food and meow while Italics was sleeping. You can see Italics sleeping peacefully. And then his owner comes creeping in. And then, well, yeah. <laughs> Some commenters found this to be too harsh to italics, and a lot of people actually asked if it worked. Just another day in the life of a cat owner. Man won this time, but sometimes the cat is the last one browsing. Browser was hired in October 2010 as an inexpensive pest control solution. This summer, a city worker tried to have him fired after he wasn't allowed to bring his dog to City Hall. There was a vote to see what to do with Browser, and this councilman was the only one to vote to kick the cat out. But last week's meeting was the councilman's last. He won't return to the office after being defeated in an election in November. So it looks like Browser can keep on browsing. By the way, if you love cat puns, check out the article below. It is riddled with them. <laughs> on the topic of cats in the office, the cabinet office in the UK just hired two new mousers. Evie and Ozzy are two black and white cats that will help the mouse problem in the government offices. Back in October, the cabinet office said they definitely weren't getting a cat. But things changed and I guess it was a double or nothing deal. These two come from the Celia Hammond Animal Trust and will be supported by staff contributions. They joined three cats already in Westminster, two dogs, and a pet tarantula. And while we're talking about pets in the home, this family got a special surprise under their Christmas tree. In Florida, a teen looked under her Christmas tree to find her cat giving birth. Her family had taken in the mom, Tink, as a kitten and nursed her to help. The kittens are Tinks and Sagwas, the other cat in the family. They named the kittens Joy, Faith, and Noel, and they plan to keep the whole litter. How's that for a Christmas miracle? And voila! It doesn't look like much, but I have a feeling Kid K will like it. <laughs> I'll post the links to these DIYs below so you can make your cat a little present too. Hey guys, Kit Kat and I just wanted to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas and I hope everyone has a very safe and happy holiday season. Thank you so much for joining us on just the beginning of our journey. We'll be back in the new year to let you know what's happening in the world of cats. As always, I'm Madonna, this is Kit Kat who is being a little camera shy, and that's what's happening meow.